Hi folks, Lee here with Tom and Jerry's Boats. I'm standing in front of a 2021 Kingfisher 2825 offshore model. This particular one is the destination package which uh, includes a lot of really nice features for folks looking for a boat that they can spend a lot of time on the water with family, friends, kids. Um, it's the kind of boat that you could stay warm and dry in and take it out in any weather. This particular one is painted all white. As you can see, there are many, many color combinations that you can choose from. Uh, some of the options that this one has on it are a stainless rub rail, stainless rails all around the bow. Um, the roof has stainless rails, radar arch. Uh, the boat is really designed to be used in salt water and it's also designed to give you a very good ride. Kingfisher uses what is called preflex technology, which basically means that they strengthen the side of their boat by bending the aluminum. And it really gives the boat uh, a very strong, rigid feel when you're out in the water. You won't get any oil canning or anything like that. One of the nice features of these offshore models in the 28s and 30s and even some of the bigger ones is the wide beam on these boats and the deep V. These boats have a nine foot six inch beam which is legally trailerable down the road so you can still tow a boat like this anywhere you wanna go. This particular one also has a combing up here on the top. This will prevent spray on the windshield. It's a very well thought out boat. They have a lot of amenities that Kingfisher incorporates into these boats. They've been doing it for quite a number of years and they've done a really good job for us. This particular boat that we have here, specially priced for the boat show, comes with twin Yamaha 200 engines. There are a number of power options available on these boats. Twins seem to work well on this. You can also do a large single with a kicker. Here we are in the stern of the boat. I just wanna show you a couple of features. You've got a nice walk-through door here. The boat also has a rear steering station, rear helm. So you have throttle control for both engines here your mains as well as your kicker so you can control the boat entirely from back here. These are electronic engines so they don't require any keys or anything it's push button start. The boat also has a bow thruster and you have a control here for that as well so it makes docking extremely easy. Over here you can see the uh, side access door so if you're at a dock uh, you can open this door but for those of you who really like to get out in the water and halibut fish you can pull the big ones right up on the on the deck here. You've got a couple of nice big fish boxes here so when you are fishing these are insulated you've got plenty of room for your fish. Uh, the door on this boat is extremely heavy duty as you can see it's all uh, aluminum and it'll keep you warm and dry inside. The interior of this Kingfisher is really second to none uh, in aluminum boats of this class so you'll really be impressed. The wood in this boat is ecologically sourced Sapili wood from Africa. There's actually a village in Africa called Sapili in Nigeria, and this is where all the wood comes from. The touches in this boat are, are really quite fantastic. As you can see from the dinette here, this will fold open so you can sit here comfortably. This also converts to a sleeper when, you're, when you wanna spend the night. This goes down and there are cushions that go here so you have a big long area to sleep in. Curtains around all the windows so when you are tied up at a dock, you've got plenty of privacy. Rod holders on the roofs here. Uh, the quality of the vinyl leatherette here inside is really quite nice. Um, it's a very attractive boat. As you come up forward, you can see the wood grain uh, continues up forward here. You've got cup holders up here on the dash. The boat also has a diesel heater with uh, defrost vents up front. So. As soon as you get up in the morning, you can hop in, turn on your heater, just like in your car, and it will keep you warm and dry. The dash is really designed to be very user-friendly. can be flush mounted with a GPS right here. This is the gauge for your engines. All the electronics nowadays are tied to your engines. So you have ready access to all your information, uh, fuel flow, oil pressure, oil temperature, gallons per hour, miles per gallon. All your information is right here in front. The boat has trim tabs and it also has an electric windlass up front on the bow which you can control from here. You don't have to go up front. Over on the starboard side here, you can see we have a nice cooktop. This is an alcohol, two burner alcohol stove, stainless steel. Comes with a nice cutting board so you can do your cooking here. Nice stainless sink, reasonably large 
refrigerator freezer here, so you do have the ability to spend some time on this boat. Hardware is very nice. Solid wood drawers, it's not particle board, extremely good quality drawers. Side here you have the head. This is an electric flush toilet, very easy to use. There's no handles to pump or anything, it's just a, literally a push button. The boat also comes with shore power, uh, which means you can plug in at a dock and keep everything charged up. You have outlets here, 110 outlets. Another nice feature of this boat, as you can see, this is a very large V-berth. Two people can sleep in here very comfortably. Actually, two people and a couple of kids could probably fit in here quite comfortably. You've got light in there and you also have an access hatch for your anchor. And there's also a hatch in the roof uh, to get out if you need to. So it's really very spacious.